Hey guys, it's Lori. I'm on my way to Walmart right now to pick up a grocery order. It's kind of big. I was thinking, oh, this will just be a little fill-in haul. Then I just kept adding to my order and adding to my order and pretty soon I realized this is a big fill-in haul. <laughs> I'm gonna run over here to Walmart. It's right there. Home Depot's right there. After I pick up my groceries at Walmart, I'm gonna run into Home Depot real quick and grab a new clothing rod for Hayden's hoodies and stuff. The one, the one that I have up there for him right now is so flimsy. I'm just waiting for it to snap, especially because sometimes I think instead of taking the hanger down and taking it off the hanger that way, I think he just kind of pulls it. Oh, that thing's going to snap. If he does that like right in the center, it's done for. It's so thin. It's like one of those broomstick looking things that you put like a paint roller on. It's one of those and it's it doesn't have like three different sections like some of them have different sections this one just has it's just one long one so it's it's really not made for a clothing rod at all so anyway that was a big long story just to tell you I'm going in to get a dowel rod and that's it I gotta go tell them what spot I'm in and then I'm gonna show you my groceries when I get home there's way too many to show here but like I said I'm stopping at Home Depot first but I'll get back with you Hello. Hello, how are you? I'm good, how are you? I'm doing good, thank you. Can I get a name for the order? Lori. Alrighty, and then did you see all your substitutions and stuff? Um, I saw one, I guess I didn't see other. Yeah, that was so the, just the one. one. Okay, yep. That was fine then? Yep, that's okay. good. All right, just all in the trunk? If you can just put it in the back seat. Back seat, okay. Yeah. Do you have enough room for everything back there? Um, I should. As long as I'm allowed to use the other side of the back, like over there. Yeah, okay. I can even pull some of it up here. Okay. It helps. You are all set. You have a good rest of your day. Okay? Thanks, you too. Thank you. I always feel like I should get out and help them. I had a guy tell me one time that they don't like it when you do that. So, or at least he doesn't. I, I wouldn't like it either, I don't think. I think I'd want to do it myself. I have my routine down just let me get it anyway let's go okay I'm home and apparently everybody's starving everybody else is home too so I better hurry up and get this haul done so I can get dinner ready I don't have prices on anything this time again but as always if you want to know a price of anything just ask and I'll be happy to let you know 10 pound bag of sugar since we've been making kool-aid we're going through the sugar gallon of milk a carton of almond milk and the silk brand the silk um almond creamer caramel and this is for hayden he really likes this he said it's pretty good kibbles and bits just a little bag because i'm gonna run out matter of fact it might be gone right now there's not much left if not but i'm gonna run out before my chewy order comes so some bananas we got three bananas i grabbed some yo crunch this time for hayden and uh, let's see there's eight of them in there yeah, there's eight of them in there. Four of the Oreo and four of the M&M. We got lots of yogurt this time. I got him some more of the whips, the orange, the key lime, what's that raspberry and the chocolate mousse, and some of the French vanilla, cherry, coconut, strawberry, strawberry cheesecake, or no, that's cherry cheesecake. We got lemon, we got peach, <laughs> orange cream, and strawberry cheesecake. Did I get two of those? Oh, one of them's I don't know. This one's the whips. They're a little bit different. This has a lot different consistency, actually. But anyway, yogurts. I got some mini Takis. This is a 25 pack of little bags. But it's already open because Hayden already had some of them. Just the little bags of Takis. And we got some Halloween candy to go with the full-size candy bars that I already got in my Costco haul. These, I won't have enough to go around. So I grabbed some this is, let me see, 125 pieces, all these different candy bars. And I also grabbed some of these Tootsie Fruit Chews. I'm probably not gonna do these for Halloween. I'll probably put these in the candy jar here. And some Sour Patch Kids. I actually got two bags of these, the treat sized. And Skittles, these are Sour Skittles Shriekers, they call them. Beware, try a few dare. So they're like Halloween paper, Halloween wrappers or whatever. And I also grabbed a bag of this Child's Play with the Tootsie Pops and some Tootsie Rolls and stuff, dots, stuff like that in it. Just, I don't know, just in case I run out. I'm always afraid I'm going to run out because we do get quite a few trick-or-treaters. 
I also picked up some of these peanut butter cheese crackers. And this is a big value size 27 pack. So I, I thought I got these the last time I had a grocery haul, but I actually got the, the peanut butter or not peanut butter, but the cheese on cheese crackers. They also gave me this book this time, the Walmart Universe of Play, and it is all sorts of toys. These are actually nice, so that way if you have little ones, they can look through this. We used to give these to our kids all the time when they were little. They can look through it and pick out things they'd like to have for Christmas, so at least you have some ideas. Unless they're like some kids, like mine. <laughs> they want one of everything. So anyway, that's kind of nice to have for the kids to look through. And we cleared away all that, and now we have the keto-friendly or low-carb-friendly items. I needed more shredded cheese, so we have a five-pound bag of the shredded sharp cheddar. I've got a couple recipes coming up this week that I'm going to be using shredded cheese in, so we've got plenty of that now. The big bag of the sucralose sweeteners, just like Splenda, Green Mountain uh, K-Cups this time, the Nantucket Medium Roast. I had gotten the big box at Costco, but... I should have gotten more last time I was there and I didn't even think about it. So we, we ran out of K-Cups. This yogurt right here, this ratio keto friendly yogurt, this stuff is really good. I got two more of the vanilla and two more of the black cherry. I thought I got some strawberry ones too, but I guess I didn't. So anyways, these are really good. I enjoy them and I think John likes them too. I'm pretty sure they're nice and thick too. Let me show you real quick how thick this stuff is. I got a little clip of it. It's really thick, and I actually thought it needed stirred. I thought, this is so thick, it must be, it must really need stirred, but no, it's it's just like that, that's how it is. It's really very good. Okay, so there's that. And we've got some vegetables over here. I've got a head of cabbage hiding underneath these big leaves. There's just like a smaller head of cabbage in there. <laughs> a pound of carrots, whole carrots, some of the spinach and spring mix back here with shadows across it. We've got some romaine hearts. We have some snacking celery. And I also picked up some more of this great value brand pizza sauce. We've been going through a lot of pizza sauce lately, kind of enjoying pizza nights. On Fridays, we've been doing pizza nights, so kind of been enjoying that. And I grabbed another jar of this Good Good Jam. Thought we'd try the grape this time. This is actually less expensive by about a dollar at this Walmart that I went to this time. It's in a different town and it was $6.77 at the first Walmart and it was, I can't remember the price of this, but I'll put it on the screen. But it's pretty pricey for a jar of jelly. So I remember saying, this good, good jam better be really, really good, good. Well, it is, it's really good. Really, really good, good. Okay, I also grabbed a pack of this keto bread because well, we've got jam. We have almond butter. John and I both had some keto bread that we had still in the freezer from Aldi. Got it out, put a couple slices in the toaster, and we both had it with almond butter and some of the strawberry jam, and it was delicious. So we're going to try that again with this. I'm almost out of the keto bread, so that's why I grabbed that. And some more pepperoni. Another The big pack, 21 ounce mega pack of pepperoni. And I grabbed some turkey. honey. Ro oh, it's honey roasted? Oh, shoot. This was a substitution. I did not order the honey roasted, but I ordered the big pack, the 22 ounce, I believe it was, and I thought they were just substituting the 16 ounce, but I guess they're substituting honey roasted. Well, that's not good. I can't have that. It's got sugar in it, so uh, I guess Hayden's going to be having turkey sandwiches in his lunch. And I also grabbed another pack of the deli sliced pepperoni, a half pound of that, and a pack of Swiss cheese. So that's good. Hayden can have turkey and Swiss sandwiches and his lunches. <laughs> and I also grabbed a pack of this 24 sausage patties, the old folks brand, Prunel's old folks brand. And the macros on this are pretty good. It says no sugar added, but there is, it says zero added sugars right here. But in the ingredients, where are the ingredients? Here they are. I don't know if you can see, it says sugar in the ingredients. So... Okay. I don't know. I can remember when Cooking Keto with Christy said that the sugar in the ingredients on bacon is used in the curing process and it cooks off when you're cooking it. I don't know. Is that true? I don't know if it is or not, but I'm going with it. 
So I, got, I grabbed us some sausage patties. And when I was at Home Depot, I grabbed a couple light bulbs. These things are expensive. They were like $13.50 for two light bulbs. But it says they're supposed to last 13 years. So I better be 69 years old when these things blow out. 69, is that right? Nice. What? No, 68. <laughs> 68. And here's the long dowel rod that I got. Really exciting, right? But anyway, this is it. This is everything. Thanks for watching, guys. See you in the next one. Hey, guys. <clears throat> hey, guys. It's Lori. I am on my way.